Servers are down and we got 3.10.1 C patch notes uh, <clears throat> with actual legion encounters causing delirium mist to pause. This is big, very big, very, very big. Active blight encounters now cause delirium mist to pause its movement while you are within large radius. Also big. Uh, there was uh, also an issue where I had like a another thing with this is like when it's when it pauses. Uh, I have had a few blights where half of the blight encounter is in the mist and half isn't. I just like. Eh. But yeah, that's good. Reduce the height of Delirium reward bar so that the top of the images is actually where you receive rewards. Nice. That's very good. There's so many cases where like, you're like, am I gonna get the rewards or not? It's like, like so close. And then you just never get it. Reduce the volume of Vengeful Sky Forest Meter Impact side effects. Okay. Reduce the value of Auras from your skills grant. 0.2 life range per second to... Point one to replicate presence. Uh, this was very very busted. It's a good nerf. It's still gonna be. It's really good. Still, the purposeful harbinger notable now grants our buffs from skills have ten percent increased effect on you for each herald affecting you. From skills, still absolutely busted. Just not as busted as it was before. I talk about this a lot. All sources of uh, increased effect of auras on you now instant grant increased effect of non-curse auras on your skills point of view. Another example of this is a Matua shield, whatever the name of it is again. Matua Tupuna. It's pretty interesting because this has been in the game since before the, the release. And uh, it, it always had an increased effect of auras on you. And then the upgraded version has uh, 20%. So people using this shield were taking like increased damage from burning ground and whatnot without knowing because how this was working with things that were actually not supposed to be like auras to the players. Uh, the large closet jewel which grants 12% increased damage both also gets damage over time. Very nice. This is good. Split version of Spore, spore Plume can no longer be affected by Delirium modifiers. This is the... Uh, the Blight unique that just keeps splitting itself into... You know, more and more. The, the thing that gives you like a... Like a few... Like, you know, 20, 30 thousand something... Uh, uh, of the currency in a Blighted maps, it's pretty nice. Arrows can no longer stick in walls in Simulacrum. That's pretty nice. I've heard that uh, with bow builds it was... Uh, you know... A lot of stuff there. To a point where it was getting laggy. But yeah, this could like actually get you killed. Uh, fixed a bug where Simulacrum spin levels dropped immediate, immediately following an incursion, incursion rather than being accumulated. This is big. This is very, very big. It was so annoying when you complete the incursion and then you like start picking up the random uh, splinters because they dropped uh, right after. Fix a big where monsters were killed while submerged below the ground couldn't stop splinters. Oh, interesting. Fix a bug where placing a map at a simulacrum into a map device and then acting a map device would consume both. Monka. Hmm. Fix a big where offhand attacks were sometimes not being made when using hollow palm. That's nice. Fix a bug where temporary monsters created by delirium modifiers such as crashing leap could themselves gain delirium mods. We need to go deeper. Fix the bug where monsters with crashing leap deliver modifier could track your location even after you run until it was off screen or the leap to Ooh, monka. That's uh, that sounds scary. Fixed a bug introduced in 3.10.1 where monsters with vengeful target area modifiers could sometimes become untargetable. <laughs> I like how they... When they fixed, like, you know, when the stuff gets... Uh, the guys that uh, can basically die. Uh, 
and now stuff just becomes untargetable. Hmm. Nice. Fix the bug where running far away from causes the revelation while he was casting his beam skill and the returning would cause him to visually stop taking actions. Visually, so he was still doing stuff, but you just didn't know about it. Okay. That's a pretty big bug. Fix a bug where Delian Wallace remained visible th through in activity they were killed by the enemies. No! No! No more cool little red Delirium Volatiles. No, they were so cool. Fix the bug where the effects of the snipe skill granted by Asylum Unique Helm were not correctly removed. Wait, didn't they already fix this? Uh, okay. Red testicles. Fix the bug where mon some monster skill, skill effect lasted forever. <laughs> Oof. I wish they had told us what these were. A general improvement. Cirrus Awakened of Worlds will now only use his Meteor and Corridor skills when his apparition is not using a skill. It's time to take a look at the clip, boys. That happened to me during one of my Cirrus fights. So I got TP'd into this. This is like the thing where 99% of the, probably even more than 99% of the builds just die. Uh, like my build has a very high spell block, a very, very high uh, spell dodge, even at this time. And I just get TP'd into it. It's uh, very spooky. So. Hope, hopefully it's actually been fixed. So that's nice. Conquerors can no longer spawn in a region if you all if you already have their watchstone from that region. This only applies until you can access Zeros of Acre Force. So this is why people get less... Like, uh, for example, I spawned... Uh, Warlord, uh, Drox, right at, like in a region that I already had uh, gotten the orb from so this is gonna be getting the why do I don't get a stone from my conqueror while doing the progression so that's really good change conquerors can no longer spawn in the corner region of the atlas if you had already encountered them until you encounter a different conqueror in a region in the corner region uh, conquerors can no longer spawn in the corner region of the atlas if you had already encountered them until you, yeah, so you could keep farming conquerors in a re in a corner region. <laughs> this is referring to the early the early uh, the quest line where you have to do the corner regions. This does, you can still uh, keep doing uh, the what you're doing right now. Like let's say that you're farm you're farming the one of the corner regions to spawn Cirrus after you have all of the the stuff done already. Like if you already have thirty two watchstones, you can still do that. This is only for the early progression where you you could actually there was like because of this you could keep doing you could keep spawning a specific conqueror in a corner region. Like, you could get farming, like, Baron, for example, for all eternity. Uh, I'm not sure if the, there's another, there's apparently another bug. I'm not sure if this is going to fix that too, where you can keep respawning Conquerors and Influence because of that if you do them at less than three Watchstones. Or might have been three or less. I don't remember exactly. Updated the Atlas inventory hours to make it clear when a conqueror cannot spawn in a given region. This is nice. This is very good. Added a warning to map device with displays when you insert the map of a tier that isn't high enough to spawn a conqueror. This is also very nice. That's that's really good. But people don't read, so it's just gonna go. Nobody's gonna know it, right? The progress towards a watchstone can now be seen when hovering over citadels. 
The progress towards a watchstone can now be seen when hovering over citadels. Okay, I, I can't really... I don't really see the point of this right now, but I don't know, maybe when I see it in game it makes more sense. It's just another bar, but... You're gonna get the watchstone anyways when you do the conqueror, right? So it feels a bit weird. So maybe, maybe this is just when, over, when you hover over to the citadel, it shows you the same as it, you see on the left side, I don't know. Influence indicators in the map stats tab now on the display on map that have a map tier that is equal to or greater than what is required for the current tier conqueror. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. So you could have like a influence bond on, you know, uh, four watchstones, but it was still highlighting them in like low tiers as well, even though it couldn't spawn them. So that's really good. Added a notification that is displays when unlocking favorite map slots. Okay. Experience. Uh, oh, I I run like T twelve. I had I think I run like four of them without realizing. Experience during Delve encounters is now accumulated and granted upon completion of the encounter. Hmm. Now they fix this. Yeah, that's that's skill. That's the bye bye drop bear um, farming. That's very nice. Very good. Wish we had this at the start of the league. But that's very good. Casting an instant skill that is bound to the leftmost button now also causes your character to move to where your character was. Previously single would... Oh, dude, this is so good. This is so nice. It was like such a feels weird moment when you... Uh, when you uh, had the instant instant skills, right? Where your character, like, you get, like, this annoying, like, stop. It feel, felt, like, very unresponsive, right? This is so good. Putting, like, guard skills or what not, like, what not into your uh, left mouse button is gonna feel so much better now. Improved performance in the library tile sets. Re-enabled Hector Titus Edenos. Oh, bad job. Let me start downloading. Optimize the performance of challenge trophies. Added audio to Radiant Scorching Ray effect. Okay. This means... This now means... There's another thing the game needs to account for. This is a reduction on uh, performance. Paper hands. Upgraded audio of co Golden Bladefall effect. And Demonic Bladefall MTX. Okay, cool. 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 Fix a bug where your character became invisible when teleported by Zeros of Aegon of Words into his maze while you were using Slash the Leap Slam. Oh, I remember seeing a few clips of this. It was pretty funny <laughs> and sad at the same time. Fix a bug which granted access to Zeros of Aegon of Worlds and Conqueror after obtaining 16 Watchstones rather than 20. Wait, did somebody have that? I haven't heard anyone have this happen actually. I mean. No, it, it's possible to have this at 16 watchstones because you could spawn the conquerors in a region that you couldn't get the watchstones. You, you could actually do this with probably even less than 16. But yeah, I, I think this is like a different bug. Fix the bug uh, where the displayed amount of life that you had could become out of sync with the actual amount of life that you had, causing it to appear as though... <sighs> Yo, finally. Got in so many questions about this. Over the uh, the months and whatnot. Am I actually full life? Because it doesn't look like I will have... Fixed a bug where skills supported by both Arrow Nova support and high impact plus chain mind support didn't create projections when the payload Arrow impacted the ground. Ooh. Hmm. That's a buff. Fix a bug introduced in 3.10 where increased reductions to damage with claws wasn't being applied when unarmed while using Rick Paul's curse. That's... like what? It's been since the leak start? I wonder if anyone actually... like... because nobody played it or what. 
Dude, that's actually whew. That's a that's a big buff. Fix a bug where the snow cloak buff granted by they of tool didn't have a description. Okay. Fix a bug in the registry point then where molten shells reflected damage was not scaled down correctly in PvP combat. Uh we actually had a few people in our like uh, group wondering about this. They were in PvP and they were like they did like a chain reaction of the first guy died and then the molden shell killed the other guy and then another guy is <laughs> that's pretty funny. Three hundred and forty four people have recalls curse from PvE Ninja. Of the people actually shown in the ladder, right? There might be more. Fixed an instance crash that could occur when using zombies. I feel like I've read this already at some point earlier this week. I guess there's another one. Fix an instant crash that could occur when using the random portal variation. I haven't still used this. I should probably try it. Fix an instant crash that could occur when using kinetic bolt, blade blast, and herald of purity. Summon skitter bots. Oh, unsocketing. Fighting shield crabs. Oh. Legion crash fix. Cool. Fix the client crash that actually haven't I haven't crashed a single time yet this league with uh, with legions. Fix a client crash that could uh, occur if you were weaving some map. Interesting and more uh, crashes. Yep, this is pretty nice patch. This is pretty nice patch. The Atlas changes are. Uh, I'm surprised that they're actually get fixing Atlas bugs like this at this point in the league. Very, very surprised. Yep, so good notes. It's weird that Mike with two and a half weeks into the league, right? And we're still getting like pretty big like improvements to the league. Yeah, 